Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about minus operator in MySQL database. So in my last video, I discussed about intersect operator. So how can we achieve intersect operator in MySQL database? So let's see about the minus operator. So in place of intersect, I'm going to use minus. And here, if you execute this query, so right here, I'm getting the error message, the syntax error message. So that means at here minus operator uh, could not support at MySQL and here compiler could not recognize minus operator. So how can we achieve? So for this we have to use left jack. And one more thing, what exactly minus operator is? So at here this is the part of EMP form and this is the part of EMP2. So at here if you do EMP1 minus EMP2. So what about the record of EMP1? So add here this is the part of EMP1. Here, till there. So add here. Uh, so first that to uh, uh, accept what are the record in EMP1. Suppose if I enter EMP1, 1, 2, and here 3. And if I enter uh, the EMP2 value, 2 and add here 6. So if you do minus operator, so add here. So whatever the record present in EMP1, so first that accept, so 1, 2, 3, that accept, and here the matching, so that eliminate the matching record. So 2 at here, 2 minus 2, so this value is now eliminate. So at here the output come 1 and 3. So at here 1 and 3, the output come. So if you do uh, minus of EMP2 minus EMP1, so whatever the records inside or EMP2. So EMP2 has 2 and 6 and here uh, that eliminate the common records. So EMP, EMP2 minus so common record at here 2. So that eliminate so at here the output come 6. If you do EMP2 minus EMP1 then the output come 6. So this is the things so this is the things we have to get in my SQL database. Uh, so for this uh, left let's use add here a uh, left jack so in place of inner right left right left jack and you have to if you want then here you can use distinct keyword so i will uh, use that later so add here left jack and here after uh, let's use m on cross emp one dot id and you have to include one more thing where cross so where clause we have to use and here uh, give the condition on emp2 emp2 dot id is null. Now if you execute this query, so see at your this is the record I'm getting and here the name. So at your name is null because it's come from emp2. So if you do minus operator, so all the values from the or two tables that become null. So at here, let's keep at here emp1. Now execute. So see at here. So this is the output I'm getting. Now let's see the record inside emp1. So emp1 has uh, 1000, 1002. 1000, 3000, and 1002 is the twice time. And here in EMP2, so at your 5002, 1, and here 1002. So 1002 is the common record. And if you execute this query, so this is the record. So this record is now uh, comes from 1001, so it's come from EMP1. And here 1003, so it's come from EMP1. 1000, it's come from EMP1. And 1002 is the common record. Or between EMP1 and EMP2. So by using so, so at a by using this left chain, so that eliminate the common record. And after this is uh, uh, that admit the common record and whatever the record of EMP so that display. So this is the way we can achieve at here or uh, uh, minus operator in my SQL database. So let's see the record at a EMP1. So these two things in EMP1. So suppose if you create add here or duplicate record. 
like a thousand it's a comes a try stamp so here you can use distinct keyword also so distinct keyword let's use and you have to the same so whatever the duplicate record so that uh, eliminate by using distinct keyword so this is the way we can achieve minus operator in mysql database so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you